So, hope you guys are ready for this one. We are inside the old abandoned school. Deep Ontario. Oh, flooded basement, we can't even make it down there. Wow. Staircase going up the other side. I'll try to brighten up this footage for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. But a completely flooded basement with a good probably half a foot to a foot of water. So we'll leave that for now. Paps blue ribbon. And we'll work our way to the upstairs. There's one of the bathrooms in the back end of the room. And we're going upstairs. This building's kind of creepy because I know there are some birds in here and we can hear them. This is one of the classrooms. Blackboards are still up too. <laughs> Ladies, I guess they got the doors they took off. There's people I guess have signed the board. Attack, 19th of November. Camp Crow Crow's Nest. Gate, mind, weird. It's as if maybe they use this uh, for maybe paintball or something even to do like airsoft, I'm thinking, or military cop training. Might be the case. Creepy hallway. And then we come across the hall. Another open room. So we won't do a full tour of all the rooms because it looks like most of them are similar. It's got the board still up, windows boarded up, and they're hollowed out pretty good. There's an electrical panel. Just gotta watch our step because there's beams on the ground across the doors. Let me come over this way. Hang a left to the front room. Look at this, there's a long wiener. It goes all the way down, four boards. <laughs> I think that's a new record abandoned wiener drawing. <laughs> yeah, this building, I forget the date. I'll try to check once we go back out again. But it's definitely an old, old building. I think it's back to 19, like 40s or something like that initially. There's all the lighting fixtures that would have hung from the roof. All completely gone now. Yeah, we'll probably do uh, each floor. I think there's three or four floors. The basement, like I said, we won't be able to get down to. But this is the main front entrance where they would have come in. So these would have led the staircases down to the basement, which I think probably would have been the gymnasium, what it looks like. You hang a left here. Now we're on the back side of the gymnasium area. So this is the stairs, we go down a little, give you guys a better idea. Oh wow, there was a stage back there. So way over there on the left, there's a stage, you can see the stairs on the right side, stage hollow underneath, and then to the right side, it looks like there's little cabinets or ca cabinetry work, and a room back there too. But this would have been the basement, obviously can't get into it now. 
to work our way back up. And actually, if you guys want to see what it looks like, here's the other side of the staircase, going down the left side of the front entrance. You can hear everything dripping in the flood. And there's even a chalkboard back there. Some of the lighting fixtures are all hanging in this room. Whew, it's stinky down there. That is for sure. Hey, little broomstick. The witch's broom. The all-seeing eye. Yeah, that's what they would have seen when they first walked in the building. So we'll work our way back up. And we'll head to the staircase, the other one that we haven't seen yet. And we'll tune in on the next floor. made it up second floor oh there's a separate door to a separate unit in the back we actually took that way up but now if you look over here we're gonna go down here for a second there's a bunch of bird poop everywhere it smells Wow This area is pretty well kept, but except for you can hear the softness of everything and the mushiness. And the roof is just dripping. I think that was a pigeon. It's a loud pigeon. Oh, there are pigeons. You can see them running through the rafters. All right, screw the pigeons. I have no interest in seeing them. <laughs> Let's go back over here. And we'll work our way up the stairs again. And as you can see how much poop is everywhere, there's a lot of it. It's pretty nasty. Yeah, this room's been gutted. The only thing they have in here, original, is the actual edges of the chalkboard. Where you put your chalk and everything along the sides. The boards are all gone. Windows smashed out, of course. Yeah, the old original door is still up here. And we got a dead pigeon. A couple dead pigeons. One there. There's another skeleton of one there. It kind of scared the crap out of me, that dead pigeon. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that. Then we hang a right. We we're into a portion, it looks like, that was still somewhat intact. So maybe a room. Holy crap, there's a bird. Ah, there's another one. Jesus, they're freaking loud. There's another dead one on the ground over there. So we're not gonna be going after that. Creepy, creaking chandelier thing. And then some kind of lunch cart and a bathroom in the corner. You should call this place the Pigeon Cemetery. Except that there all seems to be. There's pigeons everywhere. See if any more pigeons can scare the crap out of me again. Oh wow, I love the old ladder. It's pretty neat. One of the few things still here. Olympic Gymnasium, London. So it must be in London, Ontario then. This room's got some lighting fixtures still in but they're slowly starting to fall down. 
couple more heavy birds landing on them. They'll probably get knocked down pretty quick. There is, I'm not sure what goes out that way because we're not on the main floor. Wait a second, I wonder what goes there. Let's figure it out. Is that like a little veranda patio? Oh, that's the staircase, okay. There's a staircase on the outside of the building that goes around and that's what that would be. So what we'll do is work our way. Actually, I think that's it. It's pretty much all the main floors. All right, we'll work our way down and see if we missed anything. And I'll tune in in a bit. guys that is about it we just checked out the old old i guess it was an old school essentially so really close to the convent keep an eye out for that video guys but i hope you enjoyed this one birds scared the crap out of me a lot of pigeons still left inside gutted building a couple dead pigeons unfortunately and the basement gymnasium is fully flooded so couldn't check that out maybe this summer though we might work our way back here either way guys i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you guys are new checked out the old school Either way guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Later.